Hello and welcome to this worship service. My name is Carmen Little and I'm a lay leader with the Chetwin Cherub Ministry. It is my pleasure to be able to worship with you today. We begin with our call to worship. Grace and peace to you from God our Father who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing that comes from heaven, who knew you and chose you before the world began, who loves you so much that he calls you his own children who has brought you from darkness into light and filled you with his glorious power, who has prepared an inheritance for you that will never spoil or fade, who encourages and strengthens you in every good deed and word, who comforts you in your troubles so that you can comfort others. This is our God, the ultimate source of all things and the one for whom we live. Let's worship God together. We open with prayer. What mighty praise belongs to you, O God, for your acts of love and faithfulness towards us. In your mercy you hear our prayers, you forgive our sins, you provide for our needs. From one end of the earth to the other, you inspire worship and praise. Even nature celebrates your goodness. We too would suffer, pardon me, we too would offer our praise and thanksgiving for your mercy and your faithful love toward us. Receive our adoration, our confession, our thanksgiving. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, make your presence known among us that we may hear your word and know your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and intercessor, we pray. Amen. There are 195 countries in our world, and only 11 of them celebrate some form of thanksgiving. Each country has its own reason for celebrating, often to mark a commemorative event in national history. However, as followers of Christ, we're called to live with a heart of gratitude, not in, just in times of joy and plenty, but also in moments of trials and challenges. We are encouraged to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is at the heart of the Christian life. It's the humble acknowledgement of the blessings we receive daily, both big and small. The Bible repeatedly advises us to express thanksgiving in every circumstance, echoing the innate connection between gratitude, faith, and personal growth. Gratitude is recognizing the good in our lives and acknowledging that this goodness is a gift. It's about acknowledging God's enduring love and mercy. It's about seeing God's hand in everything, whether a beautiful sunrise, a job promotion, or even a tough life challenge. Gratitude is both a practice instructed of us in the Bible and also a scientifically proven method to enhance our mental health and overall well-being. We learn in Psalm 107 verse 1 to give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. But it's also important to practice gratitude regardless of whether things are going our way or not. As we learn in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Re regularly acknowledging and appreciating the good things in our lives can lead to a multitude of benefits. Taking note of what you're thankful for gives a more positive outlook on life, thus increasing overall happiness. Gratitude makes us shift focus from negative thought patterns reducing symptoms of depression. And practicing gratitude before bed can help create a peaceful mind and improve sleep quality. Recognizing that we are grateful, what we are grateful for, can help lower stress levels by shifting our mindset towards positivity. The Bible has long emphasized the importance of gratitude. Scripture encourages us to thank God in all circumstances, promising peace and joy. The Bible speaks of gratitude as a pathway to experiencing God's peace that surpasses all understanding. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to Him with songs of praise, we're told in Psalm 95. In this light, gratitude becomes more than a virtue. It's a lifestyle. It's an invitation to view life through a lens of thanksgiving to God, fostering personal growth and deepening our faith as we follow Christ's lead in loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. 
The Apostle Paul's epistles are full of teachings on gratitude. He didn't merely advocate for an attitude of thankfulness in times of prosperity, but he boldly professed gratitude even in times of adversity. This audacious perspective on gratitude is encapsulated in his letter to the Colossians, where Paul writes, Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you are taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. As we delve into Paul's teachings, we're encouraged and invited to embrace gratitude in our lives assertively. Inspired by his wisdom and courage, we're encouraged to express our thankfulness in words and through our actions, attitudes, and interactions with others. Scripture provides a blueprint for transformative living. It empowers us to rise above our circumstances and fosters an attitude of thankfulness as we experience the profound impact of gratitude and thankfulness for God's blessings in our lives. As we reflect on Paul's teaching, let's boldly embrace gratitude, celebrating God's goodness in every situation. Let's allow the power of gratitude to transform our perspective, fuel our hope, and deepen our faith. Our existence is underpinned by an overwhelming gratitude for God and His blessings. The Bible teaches us that every good and perfect gift comes from above. These gifts range from the daily miracles of nature that we often overlook, a beautiful sunrise, the northern lights, a kind word, a helping hand, to the monumental blessings such as life, love, and the freedom of salvation. But one gift rises above all, the gift of Jesus, God's only Son. This gift signifies God's unending love for us, a profound love that He gave His only Son to bring us eternal life. In the words of John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. This sacrificial love forms the cornerstone of our faith and is a constant reminder of the depth of Almighty God. Jesus is our ideal role model for thanksgiving, gratitude, because Jesus epitomized a life of gratitude. Despite the trials he faced, he continually expressed thankfulness to God the Father. In the Last Supper, knowing the suffering that awaited him, Jesus took bread and thanked the Lord. His life provides a perfect model for us to emulate in our journey of thanksgiving gratitude. As followers of Christ, we're called to live with a heart of gratitude, not just in times of joy and plenty, but also in moments of trials and challenges. We're encouraged to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. When we struggle to be thankful, let us remember the gift of Jesus Christ. Let His life of gratitude be a guiding light and help us to see God's hand in every aspect of our lives. Let us boldly express our thankfulness, courageously count our blessings, and humbly acknowledge the grace we've received. As we do this, we'll find that our hearts become more open to the changing abundance around us. By turning our hearts to Him, our worries seem small. The transforming power of gratitude is more than just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality that manifests in our lives. Personal testimonies of this transformative journey bear witness to this truth, offering us a glimpse into the profound changes gratitude can bring about in our lives. Being grateful can serve as a catalyst for change. The intentional practice of gratitude, acknowledging God's grace in our journey, recognizing the blessings in our lives, or expressing thanks for even the smallest aspects of our existence can significantly shift our mindset, attitude, and overall mental health. Your own personal journey holds immense power. It's a story of transformation, a story of gratitude, a story of faith. By sharing it, you express your gratitude, give thanks for God's gifts, and inspire others to embrace gratitude in their lives. 
we must also remember that gratitude is not a solitary act. It doesn't merely affect the individual who practices it. It impacts, expands, creating ripples that extend to communities and society. A heart filled with gratitude is not just content. It is a grateful heart eager to give back, serve others, and instigate positive change. It's a heart that acknowledges its blessings and seeks ways to become a blessing in return. Imagine a community where everyone actively practices gratitude. Picture a place marked by mutual respect, bound by kindness, and nurtured by a shared sense of belonging. It's a place where acts of gratitude and service are not the exception but the norm, where individuals recognizing their blessings strive to bless others in return. Such a community would be more than just a group living together. It would be putting into practice what Jesus wished for us when he commanded us to love our neighbors. The journey toward a gratitude-driven society starts with each one of us. It begins when we count our blessings, no matter how small, and express our appreciation for them. It grows when we share these blessings with others, serve our communities, and make a real difference. This journey may not always be easy. It requires courage, integrity, and wisdom. But rest assured, it's a journey worth taking. In the process, we don't just transform our lives. We contribute to transforming our communities and ultimately our society. Cultivating a heart of gratitude begins with intentionality. Some people find it helpful to keep gratitude journals, writing down three daily things they're grateful for. These don't have to be big. Sometimes the small blessings mean the most. Others practice mindfulness and take time daily to be present and aware of their surroundings, noticing the beauty around them, the kindness of others, the blessings in disguise. Use prayer to express your gratitude to God. Thank Him for His love, His mercy, His grace. Give back to your community. Volunteer, donate, and help a neighbor. Serving others is a powerful way to cultivate gratitude. Embark on this journey of faith and gratitude. Share your stories, your triumphs, your challenges. Learn from each other. Grow together and unleash the transformative power of gratitude. Your journey will be unique and filled with ups and downs. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth. So let's begin this journey together, fostering a culture of gratitude that inspires and empowers. Remember, gratitude is more than an emotion. It's a lifestyle. It's about acknowledging the good in our lives, recognizing it as a gift, and using it to create positive change. Let's embark on this journey to express gratitude together. Let's foster a bold, hopeful, and transformative culture of appreciation. Let's create a society marked by respect, kindness, and service. It's not just possible. It's within our reach when we embrace gratitude. Through giving thanks to God, you can cultivate a heart of thanksgiving and witness the incredible impact it can have on your life, your community, and the world. And now, let us God's people pray. Most high and loving creator, as Jesus called Matthew, so he calls us each to follow him. Open our eyes and hearts each day with our spirits renewed to go forth as Christ's body in all that we do in love and with mercy for all your people. We ask through Jesus our Lord and Redeemer and the Holy Spirit, the fire of our faith, who live and reign with you, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.